like to thank everybody who helped out with all of the functions of the Siyam HaTanach, from the concept phase, which as usual for this shul is the rabbi and the rebbitzin, through the planning and implementation and volunteering, and all through the events from the speakers, the carnival, and this actual day of the Siyam HaTanach, and especially for all of those who learned throughout the year that really made this thing possible. Again, thank you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful time. And as with most, if not all Jewish events, we like to bring in part of Yerushalayim. So, on that note... When Rabbi Goldberger talked about having a Sima Tanakh for the show, I got really excited because not only is it something that I enjoy to do, but it's something that we could bring back home to our family. So every Friday night for for a whole year, me and my wife sat down learning our Sefer together. And Elio and I sat, got to sit down and learn, you know, half a Sefer Barishas together. And it brought a certain Ruach of Torah, not just in Shul, but into our home. And that's awesome. I feel that at times the Sifri HaTanach are overlooked when it comes to making Siyumim for other Limudim. And what I personally found so spiritually uplifting about this Siyum was that in fact the Shul chose to learn the Sifri HaTanach together. And to be able to spend a full year learning the Sefer Shir HaShirim in depth was a wonderful and truly satisfying experience. We know that Yisrael v'yaraisa u'kudsha b'richu chadhu, the Jewish people, the Torah, and Hashem are all one. And for the Kehila to come together, ba'achdos, through Limad HaTorah, is a tremendous and valuable experience. It is my tefila that the Kehila and that all of Klal Yisrael should continue to grow ever closer to each other and to HaKadosh Baruch Hu through Limad HaTorah, when a person learns Tanakh, there's some amazing things that happen. One is we are introduced to events in Jewish history that we never knew happened. And we're pretty familiar with the five books of the Torah, but we're reading through Sefer Yehoshua or Shemuel and we find ourselves saying, wow, I never knew that about Yehoshua ben Nun, or I never knew, ne knew that about David HaMelech. We're constantly amazed. We have expressed our chilek in Torah, our portion in Torah, our portion amongst the Jewish people. And think about all of the people before you and before me who have learned about Yeshua and Shmuel and David HaMelech and Shlomo HaMelech and Megillus Esther and Megillus Rus and all of the generations that have made contact with those great people and they became a part of their lives. It's part of our heritage, it's part of who we are. And now as a shul, we have done that, coming together ba'achtus, in unity, to be Messiah Tanakh. I'd like to say to everybody, a big yashukoa for participating, for being involved, 
Mechayel Ochoyel, may we go from strength to strength. And indeed, Zehayom Aso Hashem Nagila Benis Mechavo. Thank you. Okay, so I can just start talking about the Tzim Tanakh, and then you're going to use the good parts. Not this part right here. Okay. All right then. And cut! <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> this is this has got to be the most awkward thing I've done in my life. <laughs> it's hard for actors. Just tell me when I should start talking about the Tzim Tanakh. Now? Are we at serious mode yet? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Try again. Are, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I hope that this makes it to the video and everyone can hear this. For me, I think that one of the most special aspects of the CML Tanakh is being able to spend time with Jerome videotaping my face. Okay then. And cut! <laughs> Ooh la la. The rabbi's cup. <laughs>